Um, like, like Dennis said, my background is a you know North Carolinian, and, and I was working in Pamlico County, and and was with my boys, and I had a goal, and that was when I turned 50 years old, I was going to get on my boat, put them to work, and I was leaving. I was going to go down the waterway, and I was going to get to enjoy it. All of a sudden, I walked into a situation that the impact fees in Pamlico County at Bay River Silver were $12,500 for low-income people. And the problem was, I would made a living putting two halves of houses together, trying to figure out how to, somebody could build a house that couldn't buy a car. And the effect of a $12,000 impact fee on someone that's getting started is really tough. And it, and it turned out that I downloaded the impact fees for the United States and found out that that was the highest impact fee in the United States by double higher than Colorado, higher than California. And I went in and downloaded and threw them on the desk. I, I'm not very gracious at times. But at the same time, I said, can't you come up with a better plan than this, the highest impact fee in the United States? Uh, and the answer was, that's been the policy of our board. So then I started investigating what, how this was formed and what type of in. We found out that um, I need my Jesus. I'm gonna have a van of white here <laughs> to help us with our <laughs> okay. This okay. So we found out a few things. Um, we found out that there was a little sewer district created. Can you hold this one? Yeah. Okay. That might work. Okay. Dale, if everybody can't see, they can move up or whatever. Right, right, right. And we've also got this in the, in the magazine, too. So anyway, they created a little sewer district and called it Western Bay River Sewer. That was really an island, because here's the county, all right? Here's the Western District, but the district is only here. They made application for these funds, all state funds, for clean water and move the money over here and put a sign in the wrong town, 35 miles away. The sign said a lot of things. Said it was the Western Bay River Sewer District, but it was in Oriental. It was 35 miles away. It is, it says Oriental. It says who did it? It's the North Carolina Rural Center. And I don't know if you remember the, the, the commercial from the campaign and they had the blonde that was supposed to be Beverly Purdue punching the slush fund buttons. That's one of them, the North Carolina Rural Center, okay? The other one is the Clean Water Trust Fund. Here, in 1998, the Clean Water Trust Fund was developed to address water problems in the state of North Carolina. And with that, $1 billion was appropriated. The only problem was it wasn't appropriated for that money to be used for high-end development. Now, we have a number of people here from the press that have written about issues related to developmental corruption and the effect on the environment. And it's hard not to, to ignore the gravity of what we're talking about because when we talk about Madoff, with $500 billion that he scammed, who was watching? Well, guess what? They've been stealing the environmental money, too, and the existing needs that the applications were for are still there. So we have um, WHIG from Rocky Mount here TV at Sanders Smith, Don Yelton from URTV in Asheville, North Carolina, Jeff Idolette from Pamlico News, Fern Schubert from the Country Edge in Union County. Okay, all right. All right. And uh, Bob Steinberg, uh, syndicated in 50 newspapers. Don Carrington with the John Locke Foundation and Channel 9. They're here because they're concerned about water quality and what we have to say. In the mix of this, we soon found out that this was a sign in the wrong town, but there was a sewer plant behind it that was built with the money to hook on 
the coastal live-in idea dream home and the river dunes development. So we have low-income people living in single-wide mobile homes that paid $200 for the application fee that was used to get these grants. Now, they're waiting in western uh, Pamlico County and didn't get so well. We have the Coastal Living Idea Dream Home, like the HGTV Dream Home, $4 million home, that was <coughs> subsidized with the money that was supposed to be for the single-wide mobile homes and the low-income people. 